Hey, welcome back to the channel. We uh, we got me up to my elbows and bell parts now. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna dive right into it here. We got a whole bunch of prep work to do, cleaning up and stuff. And maybe by the end of the weekend, it'll be clean and painted. That'd be great. Come on, check it out. So here's what we got. All the parts to make a bell, except for a bell, right? Everything's clean, prepped and ready for paint. So I'm gonna get some primer on them and let that dry and do some paint. Now I did do some more machining. I had showed you on the last video that the the old pin pretty worn out and and so was the hole in the clapper so what i decided to do unfortunately i can't use the old pin it's not round and it's already worn down enough that i wouldn't dare to machine it round because it's getting too small you know and if i did that i would have to bush i'd have to make bushings for both of these holes also so to save myself a lot of work i made a new pin I made it out of a draw pin for a tractor. So it's case hardened, it's good steel. Um, and it's, it's, it's loose still, of course. Um, but it's not a thing that has to, doesn't, need, doesn't require precision, right? It's, it's okay. I just didn't want it to be too loose. Um, and then for the clapper, I, Decided to bore it out, put in a bronze bushing, and then I added a grease fitting so that this can be maintained pretty easy. Should be able to just swing the clapper off to the side, reach up inside the bell, and hit that grease fitting real easy. Well, this is how my mind works. Then I'm agonizing over... Okay... So that this is greasable and is a is a is a pretty nice fit. I mean, it's not super tight, but it's it's a, it's a good working clearance fit. But now all that's going to do is <laughs> because this is tighter than these are looser, it's going to cause the pin to just spin in these two and wear these out. So as much as I didn't want to re-engineer anything on this because I think the old boys had it pretty much right, um, I went ahead and added a. I tapped the hole there and I put a notch in that pin, put this shoulder screw in, and just put that in, you tighten it, and the pin is still free to move. You know, it still can wiggle, so it shouldn't, it should never seize up, even if it got rusty, which it really can't because it's very well protected from the weather. But now the pin can't rotate. See, it's locked. So the so the pin has to stay stationary. The clapper swings on the pin right where it's greased and has a bronze bushing. So that is perfect. And then as a double backup, because it ain't built till it's overbuilt, I also put a pin through so that if this thing should break, which can't ever happen, let's face it, uh, the pin can't fall out. So I think that's a good thing. Um, like I said, I hate to, I hate to re-engineer something that, these, these guys knew what they were doing, um, and I don't doubt that for a minute, but uh, also I look at heavy equipment, you know, they always lock the pin and, and limit the joints that can that can that that are moving on the pin. That way, worst case scenario, you wear out the bushing in the one piece that moves and that's it. So I think I've belabored that point. Uh, anyways, I drilled and tapped these holes where the leather pads go um, the guy was just here that's gonna cut me out some new leather pads so I've got them tapped I'll bolt them in there with some stainless steel screws that have big washers and and uh, that'll make them easy to service 
He's going to cut me two extras, so there'll be two spares somewhere, and uh, I'll throw the pattern in. The, I'll make a little bag there full of stuff for maintaining the bell, and it'll be, uh, it should be pretty easy, you know, for him to, to do it. These right here, that little section, those are the parts that we're not going to use anymore. Two cutoff axles, two top clamps, which are being replaced by bearings. The bolts that used to hold those clamps on, the old leather uh, baffle with the rivets still in it, the broken pin, one of the bolts that held the wood wheel on. Don't know where the other one went, but doesn't matter because we're not using them. Uh, I think that's it for, for parts we're not reusing, which is not bad for a project like this when you consider how worn out a lot of the parts were. I'm going to uh, do a little bit more prep work here, get ready, and I'm going to get this stuff in primer. it's starting to look like something looking pretty good I think I got a couple things I gotta get the bottoms of those feet tomorrow I gotta get the other side of this big yoke tomorrow the other side of this uh, baffle and striker I think everything else is good I managed to get it all so uh, I'll finish that up in the morning and hopefully tomorrow afternoon I can make them a color now that's another thing I showed you on the last video that I had found some blue paint here when I was wire wheeling these guys off they had a fair bit of blue paint on them and I thought well who cares we'll do it green it's my wife's favorite color I already got the paint as I'm painting I'm thinking and this is always a problem for me when I have too much time to think well could it be that this was blue because almost every foundry in the country during the Civil War was enlisted making things for the war effort, something or another? Most foundries, most machine shops at some point had to switch over to making things for the war effort. Now, it's odd that our bell was cast in 63, which was right in the heat of the Civil War, but could it be... <laughs> that this Jones and company was involved in the war effort and had a ton of blue paint left over because obviously they're making stuff for the blue the blue guys, right? Uh, could it be that uh, that's the reason why it was blue? It's because it literally was paint left over from making parts for the war effort. So now I'm really rethinking it. I think I may go... I may go out tomorrow and see if they'll let me exchange my green paint for blue paint and do them in blue because I don't really have a preference. Um, I just thought green would look nice. And, and actually, at, at first glance, these guys looked like they had green on them. But when I took the wire brush and, and was cleaning through the layers, they definitely were blue. And this in here is definitely blue. And it can't be that the sun changed color because this in here has never seen the sun. That is the exact color. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, right there. That's that's the color that it was. Absolutely guaranteed. Uh, in fact, watch me use my powers of deduction. Those runs are running that way. So even if somebody had painted this bell in the belfry, this whole thing would have been the other direction and the paint runs would have to be going the other way, the other way. It couldn't run uphill. So 100% guaranteed this thing was painted before assembly, just like this upside down and the blue paint ran down and that is the exact color that it was because that's never seen the sun. In 160 years, that paint's never seen the sun. Pretty neat, really. Um, so I've just talked myself into it. I'm going to have to get blue paint. Seems like the only right thing to do. But we're good. We got we got, uh, got a nice coat primer on everything. We'll finish it in the morning. It won't take long to dry. The heat's blowing right on it here. And and uh, should be able to make it a color tomorrow, I think. Then we won't have a whole lot left to do 
uh, to get it back up in the belfry, but I have given up on having it done for for uh, this week's church service. I just don't want to have to rush it, and it really doesn't matter that much. So we'll have it for the following week. All right, stay tuned. gonna keep you waiting for a big reveal but you know didn't come out all that great so there it is kind of like the blue angels uh a little hand work i'm not a hand work painting kind of guy uh as it turns out and i knew this but i did want to do something to bring out the letters and stuff and the, the great thing about this project is four four people probably for the rest of my life will see it other than what i'm showing you right now so it's not like it's in the town center somewhere it's pretty well hidden and that's right where apparently my uh hand painting work needs to be but that's fine i think it's cool looks nice brings out the you know the triangles in the room something i, I don't know all right that's gonna about do it for this time around Kind of up in the air if i'm gonna bring you along for all the reassembly work or the project's getting to a point where i really just want to put my head down and bowl through it and bringing you along takes a lot of extra time no offense i like having you around and stuff it's just uh setting up the cameras and the, moving the cameras and all of the cameras and stuff it's it's a lot i'm not gonna lie we'll see Maybe I'll bring you along. We got to try to winch all these pieces back up into the belfry with now with the added benefit of them being fresh painted. So, you know, we don't want to wreck them. That'll be fun. Not fun. And then uh, once we get everything up there, we got to reassemble it. Uh, my friend Russell has the wooden wheel all done. In a strange twist of my stupidity, uh, I bought green outdoor stain for the wood parts up there because the bell was, all this was gonna be green, remember? So now we got all this and we're gonna have green wood next to it, but I am not gonna try to change the color. It's all fresh stained. Um, like I said, this is not in the town center where anybody sees it, it's, it's hidden. I'm glad that the wood is is protected from the elements. Um, wish I'd picked out a blue stain, but I didn't. Um, so now we're gonna pretend all the wood is locust, because that's green, all right? Let's just do that. That's good. It wouldn't be my project if it didn't have a few screw ups. So there's one. But I think, I think I'm done with all of the mechanical repair, machining work, all this stuff. I got a little bit, of, I got some stuff I got to sand some paint out of, some bores and, and things of that nature. Get everything ready to reassemble. And then 
and then we'll reassemble it. And I'll, I'll decide in the meantime how much I'm gonna video. I really don't know. The next thing you see might be a finished bell. Can't make no promises, we'll see. I wanna thank you for spending your time with me. Um, I really appreciate your support. I need you to tell your friends that they gotta be watching the town tinker. You can say whatever you want about that. I don't, I don't care. But I'll see you next time. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.